Module 3. Objective. Interpret and represent patterns when multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000 in arrays and numerically. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say place value. Product. First, we're going to start off by looking at a one-digit number. Our one-digit number is 3. We're going to multiply this number by 10. So if we multiply by 10, instead of having three ones, we will now have three tens. So we can also write that as three ones times 10 equals three tens. And then if I take three tens and I multiply that by 10, we're going to end up with three one hundreds. So I could say, Three ones times ten times ten equals three hundreds. So we could also say that three ones times one hundred will equal three hundred. Next, if I took our three hundreds and multiplied that by ten, we would now have three thousands. So this can be read three ones times 10 times 10 times 10 equals three thousands. This can also be written as three ones times 1,000 equals 3,000. Three times 1,000 equals 3,000. Next, let's look at 15 times 10. So I know that I have five ones and one 10. And we're going to multiply 15 times 10. So if I take five ones, multiply by tens, that will give me five tens. And then I take my one in my tens place, and I multiply that by tens, and that gives me one one hundred. So I know that fifteen times ten will equal one hundred fifty. Next, let's look at twenty-two times ten times ten. So I know that I have a 2 in my 10's place and a 2 in my 1's place. So 2 in my 1's place times 10 will give me 2 10's. And 2 in my 10's place times 10's will give me 2 hundreds. So now I have 220. And I'm going to multiply that by 10. So if I take my two tens and multiply that by ten, you will end up with two hundreds. And then if I take my two hundreds and multiply that by ten, I will end up with two thousands. So now I know that twenty-two times ten times ten will give me two thousand two hundred. Another way to look at this would be twenty-two times one hundred. So I know I have a two tens and I know I have two ones. So two ones times one hundred would be two hundreds. And two tens times one hundred would be two thousands. So I know that twenty two times one hundred would equal two thousand two hundred. Next let's look at four times twenty. So let's break down twenty. How many tens does 20 have in it? It has two tens. So I could also write this as four times two tens, which is also equal to four times two times 10, which is equal to eight times 10, which will give me a final product of 80. So if you look at my example down here, I start out with two groups of four, and I multiply those by ten, and then I'll end up with two groups of four tens, which is equal to eighty.